And hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I am Francisco, and in today's video, we're going to discuss the issue of the iPhone touchscreen not working after you have updated it to iOS 18. Many users are facing this frustrating issue, but don't worry, as we've got you covered. In today's video, we're going to explore the best solutions to get your touchscreen working again. From quick fixes to advanced troubleshooting tips, we'll help you get your iPhone back to normal. So before we move to solutions, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Now let's go ahead and dive right on. Part 1. Why is the iPhone touchscreen not working after the iOS 18 update? So first, we're going to go through the reasons behind the issue so that you can understand why this problem occurred. An unresponsive touchscreen after updating to iOS 18 can be caused by several factors. Now here are some of the most common reasons. Software bugs. The iOS 18 update might contain bugs or glitches that interfere with the touchscreen functionality, causing it to freeze or become unresponsive. Incompatible apps. Some third-party apps may not be fully compatible compatible with the new iOS version, leading to conflicts that affect the touchscreen's performance. Hardware issues. Sometimes the issue may not be related to the software update itself, but to underlying hardware problems that coincidentally appear after the update. Screen protector issues. A poorly applied or damaged screen protector can hinder touchscreen sensitivity, making your iPhone screen unresponsive to your touch. Moisture or dirt. Over time, moisture or dirt can accumulate on the screen, preventing accurate touch detection and causing issues whenever you try to perform an action. So let's go ahead and move on to part two. Best methods to fix iPhone touchscreen not working after iOS 18 update. There are many methods that you can use to resolve your iPhone's touchscreen issues. From cleaning your screen to performing a forced restart, these practical tips can help restore your device's responsiveness. Now we will explore the top six solutions to fix this issue that you're facing after the latest iOS 18 update. So fix number one is going to be to employ Wondershare Dr. Phone, no data loss. If you don't want to go through multiple troubleshooting methods to fix this issue, you will need a dedicated solution that addresses underlying software issues without risking your data. This is where Wondershare Dr. Phone comes into play as a reliable and powerful tool. Dr. Phone offers a dedicated system repair feature that can resolve touchscreen issues and other iOS related problems efficiently. And it can actually help restore your device to normal operation, whether the issue is caused by software bugs, system glitches, or corrupted files after the iOS 18 update. Since Dr. Phone fixes iOS system problems without causing data loss, you won't have to worry about losing your photos, contacts, or important files while repairing your device. Now let's go through the process to quickly resolve the touchscreen issue and enjoy a fully functional iPhone. So launch Wondershare Dr. Phone on your system and access the system repair via the toolbox tab. Then connect your iPhone to the computer and select iPhone as a device type within the program. On the following screen, and choose iOS repair and then select standard repair as a repairing mode. Now you will need to put your iPhone into recovery mode, which can be done by following the provided guide that you will see on screen. So please make sure to follow this at your own pace. Once in the mode, choose to download the suitable iOS firmware after the program detects your device to provide a list. After the firmware is downloaded and verified, hit the repair now button to kickstart the device repair procedure to fix touchscreen issues. And then you should be good to go from there. Fix number two, force restart your iPhone. A force restart is often the quickest and simplest way to resolve minor software glitches, including an unresponsive touchscreen. This method forces your iPhone to shut down and restart, which can help clear any temporary issues affecting the device. Here's how to perform a force restart to fix the touchscreen dilemma. First, quickly press and release the volume up button and repeat the same process with the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears then release it. You should be good to go from there. Fix number three, clean the iPhone screen and your fingers. Sometimes something as simple as dirt, dust, or oil on your iPhone screen, or even fingers can cause touch sensitivity issues. Cleaning the screen and your hands can help restore proper touch response and eliminate any obstruction affecting your iPhone's functionality. When cleaning, gently wipe the screen with a soft, lint-free microfiber cloth. Avoid using rough materials that could scratch the screen or even your protector for that matter. If needed, slightly dampen the cloth with water or 70% isopropyl alcohol solution. Moreover, ensure your hands are clean and dry before using your iPhone. Oils and dirt on your fingers can interfere with the touchscreen's responsiveness. Fix number four 
charge your iPhone. An unresponsive touchscreen can sometimes be linked to a low battery or power-related issues. Ensuring your iPhone has sufficient charge can help restore its functionality, as a low battery may cause the device to behave erratically. Use an Apple-certified charger and cable to connect your iPhone to a power source, and avoid using third-party or uncertified accessories, as they may not provide a stable charge. Moreover, allow your iPhone to charge for at least 15 to 30 minutes. During this time, the battery level should increase, which can help resolve any performance issues. Once your iPhone has a sufficient charge, restart it to see if the touchscreen is properly working. Fix number five. Restore your iPhone via iTunes. If your iPhone's touchscreen is still not responding, restoring your device via iTunes can help resolve deeper software issues. So this method reinstalls the iOS software, which can fix any glitches or corrupted files affecting your device. Remember that restoring your iPhone will erase all data, so it's important to back up your device before proceeding. The steps that you need to follow to utilize this solution are included right ahead. Use your Apple certified USB cable to connect your iPhone to your computer. While ensuring the the latest version of iTunes is installed and running. Now turn off your phone and quickly press and release the volume up button, then the volume down button. Next, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. Now a prompt will appear in iTunes asking if you want to restore or update your iPhone. Here, just click on restore to erase your device and install the latest iOS version. Once the restore process is complete, you can just set up your iPhone to use it as normal. Fix number six, check for hardware issues. If your iPhone's touchscreen still doesn't respond after trying software-related solutions, it's possible that the issue is hardware-related. Physical damage, faulty components, or internal malfunctions could be causing the touchscreen to become unresponsive. So you can just go ahead and take your iPhone to an Apple store or an authorized service provider for a professional diagnosis. They can determine if the issue is due to a faulty display, digitizer, or other internal components. Now that's it for today's video. We hope these solutions have helped to resolve your iPhone's touchscreen issues after the iOS 18 update. Whether it was a simple restart or a simple repair with Wondershare Dr. Phone, every situation has a fix. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful tech tips and troubleshooting guides. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.